Welcome back. You're watching CNN. I'm Brooke Baldwin live here in the midst of the excitement. I'm at Super Bowl Boulevard here in Times Square. And all right, listen, even if you don't like football, you don't love football, you probably like the Super Bowl music, the parties, and of course, the commercials, right? And one commercial in particular is putting a spotlight on a growing trend in America. Here is CNN's Miguel Marquez. Yes, Governor, your ping pong theme Bud Light commercial teaser surprise was a surprise. More surprising, ping pong is huge and seems to be getting huger. Oh, look at that. World leaders play even loyal. Across America, clubs, bars, venues dedicated to ping pong springing up. Yeah, I've seen a lot of clubs being opened up. Subal Mehta and Sandesh Awale are ping pong table tennis fanatics. You have to keep working your mind like really fast. They're pros at Spin, now a worldwide chain of hipster ping pong clubs. Okay, I'll easy on you. Oh, you're going easy on okay. me. Okay. Easy. But now, no longer. No. Ah, ah, yeah. I made a mistake. <laughs> Suyeon Lee, who once played for South Korea's national team, is now a sort of table tennis ambassador <laughs> in leather and high heels. <laughs> making ping pong glamorous, yes? Uh, I think so, yeah. I make ping pong trendy and fun. She also makes it look ridiculously fashionable. Suyon, the public face of spin, one of its founders, strangely enough, is the actress Susan Sarandon. It's kind of um, equalizes the playing field that little girls can be happy. Guys. Another ping pong oddity, Sarandon plays a table tennis guru in a film called Ping Pong Summer. <laughs> Her choice, says the director, kind of obvious. Who's won an Oscar and owns a ping pong club? <laughs> so on the big screen, the small screen, and everywhere in between, prepare thyself. The age of ping pong is upon us. Miguel Marquez, CNN, Los Angeles. <laughs> How about the leather outfit for ping pong, of all things? <laughs> Who knew? Uh, there is no time to rest watching the Super Bowl. If the action on the field does not quite appeal to you, the ads usually do. And you know why. The standards are pretty high since more people watch this particular game than any other TV event, beating out the Oscars, the Grammys, the World Series even. Here is just a sampling of what 43 advertisers are offering, paying up, up to $4.5 million a spot. Oh. Take off your pants, Greek boy. Huh? You heard the man. Take those pants off. That's gonna stain. Denon Oikos Greek yogurt. Fuel your pleasure. No, 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 please. Don't leave me alone with them. And you let her go. Tim Tebow here. Still no contract, but it's all good. Without a contract, I can do my own stunts. I can save these puppies. And I can tour the world. You might want to hold on to those donuts. Robert Tuckman joining me, sports marketer, and Peter Shankman, branding consultant. Guys, welcome. So fun. I love talking about this. But you know, why, if they're forking out 4.5 million for 30 seconds, Robert, why release the ad ahead of time? Great question. You know, if you look back six, seven years ago, you never saw any snippets. But what companies have realized is that if you release these months in advance, you're going to get more media attention. So you release little snippets, you get the buzz going. And the reason they do that, now they could leverage that commercial the entire year, especially you spend four and a half million dollars. What's more valuable? You think the pregame buzz, us sitting here talking about it, or the actual bang for the buck on Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday? The bang for the buck has changed. By the time the Super Bowl comes, people are saying, okay, that's the ad we've been talking about and watching on YouTube for two months. They want to see it real and they want to see it live. 
But yeah, you've been talking, they've been talking about ads. There are ads that, are gonna, that have aired on YouTube that people are talking about already that were never even intended to be in the Super Bowl. Let's get to that. Yep. So there is this one brand you'll see in a minute. They couldn't quite, I guess, fork over the dough to, to you know, play this ad during the Super Bowl, yet it's incredibly popular. Take a look. I was really excited to make a commercial with Newcastle, but then it turns out they don't even have the money or permission to make a commercial. They can't even say the word You don't even hear her say <laughs> Super Bowl. It's the bleeping. Why do this? It's, it's incredibly popular. By it the is way. incredibly popular, and and that GoDaddy really started this trend where they would ad, they would create ads they knew were not going to get past the censors, and then they would say, "Hey, we were censored. Come watch it at our site." Yeah. You know, and you ask anyone in the Midwest or anywhere in the country now who's never bought a website in their life, "How do you buy a website?" They, "Oh, you go to GoDaddy." So they've really done a great job, and and other companies do realize, you know, we're not going to spend the money, but we'll get the same amount of bang. Maybe not as big on Super Bowl Sunday, but for three months earlier, three months later, they still get it. We still talk about it. Can we talk about Uncle Joey and Uncle Jesse and Dan <laughs> of Full House? Fame, roll the clip. Oh, no clip. I just wanted to see it again. Womp womp. Anyway, the point is there, I think it was for, for yogurt. But do you think, why do you think that so resonates? What, what's the secret formula? Is it nostalgia? Is it that, aww? Totally. It's yeah. nostalgia. Look at the people who are watching the game. How old are they? Who grew up with Full House? You know, so when you do totally. look at that, you bring that back. It reminds you. And stuff like that, when you, you do do that, I think really resonates with the people that are watching. What do you, quickly, what are you looking most forward to see? I, I want to see that commercial. I want to have the one, you know, you always go, you watch, and there's that one commercial everyone's talking about on Monday. I want to see something that's different, something that didn't get the pre-hype. What's it going to be? You were saying earlier the Clyde Stales. The Clyde Stales always get me, but also there's a uh, clip out now on the internet of Don Cheadle with a llama, and no one knows that's what Don that's Cheadle all about. And I and love Don Cheadle, and he's walking a llama into an elevator. I can't wait to see what that's going to be. Awesome. Let's talk Monday. Got it. Post game, this guys. Thank you, Robert <laughs> and Peter. Thank you very much.